First day on the job, super excited to learn about my project. Hey, Mr. G. Hey, Luke. I, I told you before, you can just call me Ken. Okay, Mr. Ken. <laughs> okay. I sent you over an email with some of the project requirements and documentation. Did, did you get a chance to review it yet? Yeah, the project outline is really well detailed. It's even better than what some of my teachers provided in school for our projects. Thanks, Luke. I appreciate that. We really take pride in our documentation here. So just a quick overview of the project. So first, we're going to clean up the data a little bit. I'd love for you to perform an EDA. Next, we're going to want you to go through and, and do some model building. Finally, you'll present these findings to all of the stakeholders here. Yeah, super simple. Perfect. Do you have any questions? No, not at all. Thanks, Mr. Ken. First day on my job. Super excited to learn about my project. Hey, Mr. G. How's it going? What? Uh, did, did you get that email that I sent over with the, with the project overview? Actually, I haven't received any emails. Uh, maybe, I, maybe I didn't send it. Uh, I'll, I'll just give you a quick overview of the project. Is, does that work for you? Okay, so... All right, first, we need... Does that make sense? Does that sound good? Yeah, actually, I do have a few questions. So far, right, I got I to run another meeting. But bye. Time to get into cleaning the data. Let's connect to the database. That was so easy to connect. Let's see what the data looks like. I'll just do a quick little query. Wow, that's some pretty clean data already. Well, almost clean. It looks like a few columns still need to be cleaned up. Okay, now let's see what this newly clean data looks like. Wow, that's some clean data. Time to clean the data. Let's connect to the database. Wait, Mr. G didn't provide me the login information for that. I'll just call and ask. What? Uh, have you cleaned that data yet? Um, no sir. I don't think I have access to the data yet. Uh, yeah, yeah. Just check with IT. They'll get you sorted out, man. Who at IT do a contact? Gotta go, uh, you know, work calls. Um, bye? I guess I'll just message them on Slack? Heck yeah, I'm killing this. What? All right, time to get into some good old EDA. That was so much fun. Oh, time to meet with Ken. So Ken, the major insight that I gained from my EDA was that if you have a papaya and you apply 300 newtons of force and no indentation is left, that is the perfect ripeness and that's gonna result in an exponential increase in sales. Honestly, Luke, this is, this is groundbreaking. This is going to set you up perfectly for designing the papaya sales model. Oh, thanks, Ken. <sighs> Finally got access to the database. Time to get into some good old EDA. Ha, drop. <laughs> Definitely don't want to delete the database. No. Uh, where is it? Oh, hey, Mr. G. Um, you look great today. Luke, what is going on, man? I just got an alert that said our app lost connection to the database. Well, what what happened is... I don't care what happened. Just fix it now. Yes, sir. I knew I should have hired Alex Freeberg for this. What? What? Nothing, nothing. I am so fired. Oh. All right. On to building the sales model. Let's load in some of my favorite libraries. Okay, libraries are in. Let's start building our model. A little later. Looks like training is complete for my first model. Let's run some initial tests on this. I remember 70 to 90% being a good accuracy score. Holy smokes, 95. And precision? Wow, 93. Heck yeah. Let's look at AUC of the ROC. Wow, that's around 90% as well. Man, this is awesome. I love my job. <sighs> <sighs> Recovered the database through EDA. Now time to build a model. Let's load in some of my favorite libraries. 
Ugh. Three hours later. Rookie mistake. Need to pip install first. Let's split this data set into a training and test set. Ugh. Any unbearable hours later. All right, first model is built. Let's check out some of these scores. 46%? That's worse than flipping a coin. Let's check precision. 38%? Even worse. Okay, what does ROC look like? Area under the curve of less than 50%? Is that even possible? I'd be better off flipping a coin to predict this. Through my analysis, not only are we able to grow the papayas in a more sustainable manner to prevent the ring spot disease, but also it's predicted to grow our sales by over 150%. Luke, man, you really outdid yourself on this one. The engineering team, they're gonna be implementing this in the next two to three days. We're getting this out of the door quick because it's driving so much value. Ah, this is awesome to hear, Ken. But honestly, I can't take all the credit. Pandas did most of the heavy lifting. Luke, now that, that everyone's left the meeting, I'm, I'm here to give you the even better news. We've decided to promote you. We've also decided to give you a fairly sizable bonus for your contribution in this first week. Ah, oh, thanks, Ken. Although slightly behind schedule, some below average model scores, and the papayas are still being savaged by that ring spot disease, we were able to achieve with my model a sales growth rate of 3%, which, mind you, is more than inflation. L Luke, uh, can you hear me? C Ken here. Uh, I know you spent a lot of time, a lot of time on this, and uh, unfortunately, based on the model performance, we're gonna have to go just a little, a little different direction with this project. Um, what does that mean? Yeah, based on stakeholder alignment, uh, a lot of the the data interpretation and business need, we've decided to go with with a different model. I just invested six months of my life into this project. Are you going with Alex's model? Yeah. Just better luck with the next model. Let's let's uh, try to, to keep things more organized and uh, and really understand the business case better. What the fuck?